Well, alrighty, scavengers, as promised, we are going to do a follow up on the previous dumpster diving video. I uh, just been out here sorting some stuff, getting some stuff underway. Uh, didn't really have enough to go to the scrapyard, and I really don't want to unload the fridge in the uh, driveway. So the fridge is just going to have to stay in the back of the truck like that, but it works out pretty well. Uh, just keep throwing scrap, filling it up. Works for me. So, yeah, we'll just keep that back there uh for the next run out there and hopefully the next one we can get it full enough that we can just shoot on up to their scrap uh scrapyard or or yeah so yeah that uh anyways so yes i got a few things laid out for y'all over here um uh, got that uh that that's a, that's all a stainless steel some sort of um some sort of box uh, it's got a weather strip on it right here it's big heavy gauge stainless steel and then uh like i said like i was saying in the video i'm more than uh positive that's probably a piece of uh, clear plexiglass probably something in case something for a uh a hazardous location or whatever but that's a really good piece of stainless steel right there uh this guy over here just kind of like a uh it's a guard of some sort maybe like uh, you cut a a vent hole in the top of uh you can probably use that in a camper outhouse anything like that so uh it was it was with electrical stuff so it has something to do with that but i mean that i can think of a few uses for that than what it's probably designed for uh, let's see uh non-ferrous stuff over here big heavy stainless steel plates these are big copper pieces right here these uh those connections you see that red coming through right there that's what you want good stuff and then i set this aside because i wanted to show y'all usually we find these and they're big chunks of uh 60 61 aluminum but the weight of this so so heavy and then it's not magnetic leads me to believe it's probably copper so let's uh let's see oh no it's brass okay uh man i was hoping it was copper but brass that's still good big old heavy heavy chunk of brass right there uh so we've got a motor a battery uh the wagner uh i was absolutely right uh there's paint in there somebody used it and didn't clean it up you turn the sucker on see how it's kind of like uh, 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 uh. it's all clogged up other than that it's in really good shape it looks like it's been used just once maybe they bought it just to use it for one one project or or whatever but probably could run some acetone uh paint thinner through there clean it up i mean those are i don't know what was that like 50 bucks 50 bucks at low something like that good stuff there uh let's see the uh illustrated optics uh i think we figured out what the problem is here as someone stated sometimes when the bulbs in these guys go out uh the bulbs cost more than the actual unit itself cheaper to replace the unit i have it plugged in uh we have juice and everything but there's no light or anything coming out i don't know maybe it needs to be hooked up to a uh, a, a computer for the light to be for the light to turn itself on Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the light does work. Okay. So look at that, y'all. We got a projector here with the light works. That's pretty cool. So we got a working projector. Uh, I tried to look these up online. They, I didn't find too many of them. Uh, I don't know if they're like cheaper or older or something like that, but that's way cool. Totally awesome right there. Uh, over here, some rack stuff, uh, little ends, I'm guessing i'm guessing that's what this stuff is for is some racks got some unistrut uh channel steel right there uh i do not know what these are i feel like i've seen these many many a times i'm guessing they may go may go do have something to do with servers maybe maybe i don't know y'all let me know down below uh over here this is going to be all of the uh the uh this stuff that we found check this out big old chunk big old chunk and that's uh that's aluminum big old chunk like that's like carved from a thick plate like that's insane they just tossed that out then we got one right here there's two three got three of those 
Uh, let's see what this is. Uh, looks really pretty. It's actually really light too, so that's that's a big old piece of uh, aluminum plate right there. It's way lighter than that. What is that? Good stuff. That's what that is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, another big old uh, just aluminum plate there. Let's see here. Yeah, another one right there. I wonder what these go to. Like big, big servers and stuff. <sighs> yeah. That cat. <sighs> mm hmm. here what are those almost looks like a uh, like where you'd run a piece of cable through it and crimp it but I don't know I don't know it just keeps getting better though what is this oh that's a piece of plastic I don't know what that goes to. And then this is more of the same with this right here. Just heavy, thick plate. Look like they just ran a like a router bit right down the crazy, crazy. And then here's another one. What would this go to though? You got you got the two threads over here. I don't know. Great stuff right there. Uh, got some wire shortage going on over here. Extension cat, one, two, you name it, we got it. Gun cases, got a rifle case, got a pistol case. Some wall decor over here. Uh, some little uh, box, I guess. This would be like, uh, say you push your push buttons and such through it. Uh, all new in the packaging. Nuts, bolts, some sort of clamp that has a suction cup. You hooked to something. Yeah, all kinds of nuts, bolts, brackets, stuff right there. Uh, we got some switches over here. I think these are Allen Bradley switches. Let's see. That's cool. Look at that switch, man. That's a pretty looking switch right there. I don't know where this came from. I found it in the back of the truck. It looks like a blade to something. Like maybe some sort of shearing, like a shearing ram of some sort. Oh, y'all check this out. Uh, this has a wire that runs to this guy right here. It operates it. It operates it. What should we do with that? What could we do with that? You could like mount that on the wall. I have no idea. Like a automatic like lid opener for a, a trash can. That's pretty cool. Y'all let me know what I should do with that or what, what could we do with that. Uh, some sort of crimping tool. We got some uh, relays, some switches. I think that's an Allen Bradley switch right there. Uh, yeah, good stuff. <sighs> see trans coil it says kpc capacitor bank kpc ul 025 a60 so those are capacitors right there so that's probably some decent wiring running off of there most definitely probably some number one ah uh, these little uh enclosures we found over here these are new these are probably like samples this guy says v monitor uh this would be like i guess same thing uh if you had like uh Put some instrumentation, anything electrical that's running through here that you probably uh, have in an area that there's like uh, gases and it needed to be uh, sealed off, explosion proof or whatever hazardous location. This would be the kind of case that you would use. All cast aluminum right here. Uh, these are brand new. These would actually be great to like, you know, like probably make something that goes boom, boom, you know. Yeah, instrument housing is what it's called. Yeah, instrument housing. And then a ton of these cats over here. 
Uh, those are the fan guards. There's 150 right there, and then there's probably probably got close to 200 of those. I don't know what to do with those. I mean, that's a lot, but hey, it's metal. You can scrap it. And then we got this box over here we pulled out. I haven't even opened it yet. Don't even know what's in it. There's no sticker, no part number, no nothing on it. So I've been saving this for y'all. Uh, let's see here. Let's open her up, huh? something that sliding around let's see what we got here what is that It's a big metal ring. And it is magnetic, so. Huh. All right, well, we'll just throw that over here with the with the iron scrap. I'm not sure what that was. Anyways, well, all righty, that pretty much sums it up. I'm just kind of cleaning up out here, doing my thing, enjoying the afternoon. The weather's pretty nice, but I'd say we had a monstrously successful evening out there, like, crazy 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 but anyways all right well that concludes this uh follow-up man uh we're gonna get it all cleaned up there's supposed to be some rain moving in over the next few days so we'll see what happens but um uh, we'll definitely see y'all in the next one what we got here y'all scrappy scrap scrap